This is an Eyewitness News webcast. Hi, I'm Chris Langlois, and this is your Eyewitness News webcast on this Friday, May 10th. Meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro has our forecast, and how are things today? Well, Chris, a little foggy this morning in some of the higher elevations. We're going to have some scattered rain showers, even a thunderstorm come through in two separate waves. So one coming later this morning. Here we go, 10, 11 o'clock. There's that line of rain pushing in, but it is really out of here by the start of the afternoon. Beyond that, for the first half of the afternoon, Things are very isolated and we do find some good dry time, but then more scattered showers. Even a decent thunderstorm will develop as we go through the second half of the afternoon and into this evening and an isolated thunderstorm could have just a little kick to it today. Good gusty wind or heavier downpour 74 for the high today. Warmer and more humid showers and that thunderstorm. The wind will be at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight we're down to 48. 66 tomorrow, clouds and sunshine. It's a dry Saturday, but rain returns in a big way Sunday. So Saturday, the better day this weekend, Chris. All right, thanks, Stefano. The campus of Bloomsburg University is open after shots were fired at an off-campus apartment building early this morning. The Bloomsburg police chief says authorities were called to Honeysuckle student apartments around 1.30 this morning after two shots were fired, and a man said he was going to harm himself. After hours of barricading himself in a room, police say the man, who is not a student, surrendered around 5.30. While the situation unfolded, officers secured the area and evacuated people from the apartment complex and some surrounding properties. The Bloomsburg police chief says there is no longer a threat, no one was injured, and graduation ceremonies should continue as planned tonight and tomorrow. The numbers are in regarding an intensive crackdown on violent crime in Wilkes-Barre. Wilkes-Barre Police joined forces with federal and state agents to track down and arrest people accused in shootings, drug deals and other crimes in the city. The sweep was launched after several shootings in the city in February and 59 people have been arrested. Large amounts of illegal drugs were confiscated and weapons have been seized. Those are today's top headlines. Thanks for joining us and have a great Friday.